know, in my opinion, one of the most annoying things about Minecraft Bedrock is that whenever you select the Education Edition option, when you're loading up a world or creating up a world, you're not going to be able to obtain any of the items, like ice bombs or balloons or sparklers. In my own opinion, those are some really cool items. And you can't even use commands or find them in your creative interface. Instead, you have to use these four tables right over here to go ahead and make yourself all these other items. And it's such a long process. It's just really annoying. For most people, they want to play around with all these really cool awesome features. Me personally, I would really love to play with these in survival vanilla Minecraft. Well, now we can because unknown error, he has made the MCE Magic add-on, which stands for Minecraft Education Edition Magics. And this basically allows you to go and craft all these items in survival Minecraft. But we're going to go ahead and begin with all the different tables because to craft them, they're going to be having similar recipes. But for the first one, it's going to be a glass bottle and it's going to be the lab table. This will basically allow you to go and combine different things. But then there's also material reducer. Now anything that's natural is on Minecraft, such as cobblestone or stone or grass, you can go and break those down into the natural components. And this was the recipe. It's going to be using a grindstone. So I myself cobblestone. I put that right out there. And then while I begin ourselves all the different types of ingredients, that basically make up this cobblestone block. We have sold the element constructor, which this one requires a nether star. So it's going to be quite expensive on that side. But the element constructor, basically it allows you to go ahead and make yourself different kinds of elements. And there are charts online all over the internet that go ahead and tells you about how many protons you need, how many electrons you need, or how many neutrons. We have sold the compound creator, which this one requires a crafting table. Basically it allows you to go and combine your different elements together to make yourself a new type of compound. So next up, we're going to go and talk about all these different items. Now bleach is going to require you one water bottle and three white dye. Quite simple. Now the bleach will basically allow you to go and return any colored bed, any colored banner, or any other colored wool into the white version of them. So let's say I go and put the bed right side of here. I go and put the bleach right here. And I would not recommend bleaching a bed in real life. But as you can see, we get sold a white bed right there. It will go ahead and work for banners in wool as well, as I mentioned earlier. But then we have the ice bomb, and this is going to be the recipe, just some ice in a bucket of water. But what this does is, it looks more like an icy ender pearl, but I assure you, it's not an ender pearl. If I go ahead and toss it right on the water, then it's going to go ahead and make the water all frozen. And let's move on to the next item, which is going to be one of my favorite things, and that's going to be the sparkler. But they can come in different colors. Now the next item is going to be the sparkler. Now to get the sparklers, you're going to need to go ahead and get yourself one of these five different dyes. You can use blue, purple, green, orange, or red. And then you're going to go and combine them with the gunpowder and a stick. It has to be in this exact formation. I kind of think it would have been really cool if you could go ahead and get like every single color inside the game. But sadly, these are the only five they can get. If I go ahead and hold down the right click or whatever button that you have, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and activate. But we also get ourselves these really cool particle effects. And another thing is that you can go and put them within your offhand as well. So I go and put that right there. So you can go ahead and hold both red and orange together. And this looks really awesome. I like the particle effects quite a bit. Now the glow sticks, unlike the sparklers, they can be made in all 16 colors, which is pretty cool. But I do want to point out that once you go ahead and craft these different colors, you actually have to go ahead and reload the world because there is a glitch within here to where the colors they're not going to go ahead and work properly. For the recipe, it's going to be any color dye on top. Then in the middle, it's going to be glowstone dust. Then on the very bottom, it's going to be sticks. If you go ahead and hold down the right click or whatever button you have to activate stuff, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and activate. But unfortunately, there still will not be any light. But they do look really awesome though. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to go ahead and move on to the color torches. And there are four different kinds of colors. There is going to be green. There's red, blue, and purple. And this could be the recipe. You can go ahead and use any of these four colors. And then you need a piece of coal and you need a stick when you're crafting these. So basically it's going to be just like that. And then the color torch is going to be the outcome. Now the balloons are my favorite things about this. So if I go ahead and grab myself a bow as well, this could be the way that you can go and get rid of them. And I think it'll work for tridents as well. But if I were to go and aim at the balloon, it pops. It pops just like that. I think it would have been really cool if there were mobs around there. Then the animals would just jump. I think that would have been pretty cool because it would just scare them and something like that. But they can come in all different colors which is quite nice. 
And another thing that you can do is, you can have balloon animals. Okay, let's go ahead and grab yourself any color balloon. Go ahead and put them onto an animal. And then if you want to go and let them go, then they're going to go ahead and go fly. Goodbye, sheep. Enjoy. Can I shoot him from here? Let's see if I can reach him. Oh, I didn't get him. Okay, I missed. I'm actually going to go ahead and let all these animals go. Because I want them to go ahead and enjoy life. Enjoy life, everyone. That cow is so heavy. The balloon's having trouble. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and shoot that. Oh, I shot the cow. I'm sorry, cow. Oh, I killed the cow. There goes the balloon. Now, right here is going to be the recipe. So, it's going to be any color wool with a torch in the middle with a lead right on the very bottom. But, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing, which is going to be Arden glass. Now, basically, this is glass that's much, much, much harder than the standard glass. This is going to be the recipe. So, yeah, you can see about how tough this exactly is because it is going to require three iron ingots and then three iron nuggets. And, of course, any color stained glass that you want inside of there. Now, I do want to point out that even if you have yourself a good pickaxe, like this netherite pickaxe, as you can see, it is going to go ahead and take a little bit of time to go ahead and break these. And even with a diamond pickaxe. So, yeah, you're going to have to go and sit here for a little bit of time. But, anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing, which we have a little surper. And next up, we have a little surper, a little super fertilizer. Now, for the super fertilizer, basically, this will allow you to go and insta grow pretty much anything inside the game. So, let's say I go ahead and grow myself a sapling. Normally, saplings. They can take forever to go ahead and grow. And they can take up a lot of bone meal. Go ahead and right click with the fertilizer and kablamo. It grows the tree and we're stuck in the tree. Oh my goodness. But this is some really good fertilizer for pretty much any crop inside the game. And so you're not going to be using like a ton of bone meal. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and look at the recipe. Which that's recipe right here. You're going to need to get yourself some salt and you need three bone meal. And to get yourself salt. It's going to require any kind of formation of water. A water bottle, you can use a beaker of water. And the way that you go ahead and obtain the beaker of water, you go ahead and put in either a water bottle, you get it that way, or you can put in a bucket of water and you get it that way as well. It will go ahead and give you three of them at a time. And you can also use a water bucket. Now you also need to go and put a torch right underneath them when you are crafting the recipes. So basically it's going to go and purify them so you can go ahead and get yourself your salt. So then we have a salt e block. This will basically be just like any light source inside the game. To where it's going to go ahead and melt pretty much anything that's meltable. Like ice or snow. Yeah, really not too much else about that. But this is going to be the recipe. You're going to need four coal, four iron ingots, and one torch. But anyway, we have salt the next thing. Which is going to be the underwater torch. And this is going to be the two recipes. You can either go ahead and combine a piece of prismarine with a torch. Or you can make the entire torch with the prismarine right there. And then of course you get yourself your underwater torch. And the underwater torch, it works exactly as you would expect it to. We'll basically go ahead and light up the areas underneath the water. So if I put this there and I go fly up, as you can see, it's going to go ahead and light up the areas. And this would be a really cool thing in the vanilla Minecraft. I mean, this should have been a thing that was introduced in the updated aquatic. Oh, wait a minute. We did get an underwater light source. You know what that was? The sea pickle. But it's not the same thing. Mojang, please introduce underwater torches. Finally, we have those underwater TNT. And we all know that TNT does not destroy things underneath the water. Thank goodness for that. But for this TNT, it's a whole other story. Because unlike the regular TNT, this will explode things underneath the water. So to make it, you're going to need to get yourself a piece of TNT. And you need four prismarine shards around the sides. And then the outcome is your underwater TNT. Now if I were to go ahead and come over here... Let's place the TNT right here. I go ahead and ignite it and watch this. After a few seconds, it's going to go ahead and kablamo, explode. And now everything underneath the water is now destroyed. So this will be a really cool thing to use if you're wanting to do like some kind of underwater mining or something like that. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and leave it at that. That's pretty much it for what I wanted to show you with this add-on. In my own opinion, I really wish that these recipes were an actual thing. Because it really does frustrate me. That you cannot find any of these items through commands or even from the creative interface. It's just really, really annoying. And I think many people can agree as well. But anyway, I do want to hear your thoughts down below in the comments on what you think of this. And if you do want to go and download this, then there will be a link down below as always. If you enjoyed today's video, then let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. For now, I hope you have a logical day and I will catch you next time. Bye!